I want to tell you a little bit of an ironic secret. I hate talking about web hosting. <laughs> Pete, you know, you're a, a blogger's blogger. It's how you make money. Yeah, I hate talking about it. Then why did his video? I'll tell you why. It's because for the first time in five years, I'm actually excited and fired up about a website host. I've done 50 blogs over the past 10 years, built many more websites. I've used seven different website hosts, including WP Engine, uh, GoDaddy, Namecheap, SiteGround, Big Scoots, most recently DreamHost. Uh, I've done it all, really. And I moved to Cloudways. I moved my niche site two months ago. I moved my main site uh, a week ago. I have been blown away by how good this is for me personally, but it's not for everybody. And I wanna tell you why. So let me just dive in here. This can be a casual video for the most part. Let me, let me share with you why I moved. So my website was already really well optimized before I moved, right? SiteGround, Big Scoots. My website was pretty fast. I did the CDN stuff, image compression, caching, like uh, the whole nine yards. I spent a lot of time in this over the years. It was pretty fast. My homepage before and after I use GT metrics for this, by the way. Uh, this was DreamHost, 91%, and then Cloudways, 97%. Okay, a little faster. There was a medium length post built in Elementor. It was still like 8,000 words, by the way. 82% and then 80%. That actually went down a little bit. It's, it's not a terrible difference. I did a huge bulky post. It's like 12,000 words built in Elementor. It's ugly, it's clunky. It hasn't been updated in two years. It's really slow. Before 61%, after 66%. Okay, well, that's that's not biggie. Here is the big thing. My WordPress dashboard for the past two or three years has been super slow. I'm talking about loading up WP Admin and it takes like 25 seconds. Updating a plugin takes a minute or two. Uh, auto saving a post that I'm like writing, it takes so long. It has been so frustrating and it's been happening across multiple hosts for a couple of years now. But I thought it was just doing a blog. And so when I started my niche site, it's super clean. Again, all the caching, CDNs, all the stuff, right? There's only like eight blog posts on the site. No, no, it's, it's still slow and frustrating on DreamHost. SiteGround and then on DreamHost. <sighs> I was like, WTF, man. So when I moved over to Cloudways, Lightning fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 10 times faster. Literally, I have these screen recordings of like doing things and I can actually work now at the speed of thought. Like, oh, I need to like do this. And oh, I want to go check this other post. Oh, I need to go ahead and save this. Oh, I need to like upload an image. It's like 10 to 20 times faster on the back end. I changed nothing else. I changed nothing else. I moved over to managed cloud hosting on Cloudways and it's just night and day difference. That's why I moved over and that's why I am super happy and fired up to talk about this. There are some other pros and cons too. Did I tell you I'll link to this post, by the way? Uh, I have a link to this in the description below. You can just go read this if you don't wanna like hear me talk about it more or if you wanna like follow along, you can do that too. Um, let me actually just jump into the pros and cons. It'll be a pretty casual short video here. Pros and cons, and then first of all, what is Cloudways and how's it different? This is actually managed cloud hosting, but Cloudways is actually the platform as a service. Meaning if you go and sign up, you're actually like, they don't do the servers. The servers are on DigitalOcean. Uh, you could even do Google Cloud or AWS from Amazon if you wanted to, although those are like uber expensive, depending on what you need them for. I use Vulture just because it's a great price point, Vulture high frequency. You can also go standard, which is a little cheaper. The point is they're a platform as a service. They make using DigitalOcean and Vulture user friendly, right? If you just tried to go start a, web per, uh, a WordPress site on Vulture or DigitalOcean, it's not actually that easy. There's a little bit to it. They kind of manage these platforms, right? Um, so that's what that is. Manage cloud hosting, it just means there are servers everywhere that host some of your files. It's generally way more reliable. If a server goes down, they can pull your files from another server. It's also faster. It you know takes into account where your users are and hopefully serves your website files from a server that's close to them, close to them, excuse me, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let me give you a 30 second overview of the setup really quick, because I think this will help you understand this. You will pay for a server. In fact, you can actually start for free, by the way. Use my affiliate link, it's in the description below. You get three days free. You can actually migrate over your entire site 
in this three days, actually you can do it in about 25 minutes. I have a video on that in this playlist. It'll be up next to show you how to do this. To actually see if it's faster before you pay them, I think that's really cool. Anyways, basically you'll sign up for a server. This is what you pay for. You choose DigitalOcean or Vulture or whatever it is. You choose uh, how many gigs you want, uh, like the one gig RAM is basically what I base this on. They have different storage and bandwidth, etc. It starts at like 10 to 13 bucks a month. And then if you were to go faster, like 26 month a month, very affordable. And then you can just add applications with one click. I just thought I'd let you know. You pay for a server. You just get a server. That's what they call it. Choose any AWS if you want to pay more money or DigitalOcean or whatever. And then boom, add WordPress. If you have another site, boom, add another WordPress site. Of course, you'll want to make sure you have enough on your plan in order to handle multiple websites if you do that. But it's very flexible. In fact, that leads me to my first pro in the pros and cons section. It's the most flexible thing I've ever seen when it comes to WordPress hosting. It is, I mean, I use the word flexible kind of lightly, but I think you guys don't even understand how flexible it is. You can change anything. You have complete control over everything. Now, obviously I'm gonna skip ahead to one con of this. You can see I have uh, two servers, my main site and then my niche site. And then I have an application um, on it. You can actually see my application. It's just the WordPress install. This, again, I have another video showing you how to set this up, um, but it was it was not that hard, not that hard. Everything's simple, but this is my con right here. It does take a little bit more work, not like days and days and days, but like an hour or two, right? It's not cPanel-ish. This is like a con. It's also a pro for me because I hate cPanel, if I'm being honest with you. Um, it's flexible for a reason. And that is there's a lot of different things you can do. From right here, by the way, like this is where you manage everything on your site, domain management, SSLs, all the stuff. Like I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but the point is it's, ex it's extremely flexible. Now, moving on to pricing. This is another thing I hate. I will go to SiteGround and they'll charge me like eight bucks a month for the first year. And then when it comes to rebuild, it's like $470 for the year <laughs> is 20, 30 bucks a month. Ugh. This is why I've switched those partially, by the way, because I don't want to pay these updated prices every year that like literally two or two X's or three X's the price. Cloudways is pay as you go. There's no like introductory things. I mean, there's a the three day free trial, but like it's just pay as you go. And if you need to upgrade, you just like do a little, it's literally a slider. I think I can even show it to you. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, where's my server? Come back here and vertical scaling. Like if you need more resources, you can just like drag this up. Right now it's 13 bucks a month. I could just drag it up to 26 bucks a month. That literally doubles like my bandwidth. There's also more storage. There's also like a bunch of other stuff here too. Um, and then it's like per month, right? The pricing is transparent. It's easy to understand. You just pay for the server and then th that's it. Like it's really fair. And by the way, it's, it's cheaper than like Kinsta or Flywheel or WP Engine, partially because you do have to like set up your server. It's super easy. I can do it. I'm not a, like, I'm techie enough, but I'm not like a backend developer. I, I don't know anything about servers or setting up installing applications. I don't know anything about that. And I was able to do it and I can teach you how to do it in the next video. But it, it requires a little bit of that work. That's why it's cheaper, honestly. And for me, I love that. I'm very happy for 13 bucks a month, for the speed of this website, the speed of my WordPress dashboard for complete control over like everything that has to do with my uh, website. I, I love it. I think it's a great price. Um, it has all the features. I think this is pretty self-explanatory in 2022, but free SSLs. And by the way, you've heard like one click SSL installs. I've done SSLs on Namecheap, SiteGround, Big Scoots, um, all of them really. And some of which were kind of one click, not really. They always took a little bit of back and forth. I used to go to Namecheap customer support because I, I had troubles like, re doesn't matter. The point is SSLs on uh, Cloudways is, I mean, it's like literally one click. It's like you choose it, you enter in your domain name, you click save and then there you go, you just wait, you're done. Like it's, it's so easy, it's really good. It's the best I've seen. Uh, it has a nice caching plugin, which is Breeze. I use WP Rocket, uh, which works really well with Cloudways. I also use Cloudflare because it's free. 
the CDN. Also works really, really well with Cloudways, Cloudflare, Cloudways. Uh, all that stuff works great. Uh, it has a free migration plugin, like to migrate uh, from WordPress. Like you go in your old WordPress site, you'll install the plugin. It uses Blog Vault, that's a technology. And uh, you enter in like your access details and, and stuff like that here in Cloudways. And you click one button. It takes like 30, 45 minutes. You don't have to do anything though. And then your WordPress site is completely migrated over. You're done, you're good to go. Uh, they actually do have a migration service. I didn't actually use this because I was curious to see what it looked like. Um, I, again, if I were you, I'd probably use it. <laughs> so you don't have to mess with that much DNS records and stuff. Uh, but even that is really not that hard. And again, the, the biggest the biggest pro here, aside from pricing, and it has all the features, and it's extremely fast. It just is fast. It really works. I'm on the lowest plan, by the way. I didn't mention that. I am on the one gig plan. It's the lowest one, 13 bucks a month. And website's super fast. I'm not getting a million visits a month, by the way, and I would have to pay more, but it's so it's faster than SiteGround. For sure, it's definitely faster than DreamHost, and it's 20 times faster when it comes to my WordPress backend. It's fast, it works. Um, but you have control over everything. I, I actually like that. If you want control, if you're a little bit more advanced blogger, not a brand new blogger, I think Cloudways is an amazing fit for you. Now, there are some cons which I don't want to skip over here. It doesn't include email hosting. There is Rackspace, which is what I'm using for my niche site. It's $1 a month, I was like, I'll just pay the $1 a month, I don't care. It was super easy to set up too, uh, but it doesn't include email hosting. And, if, and for do even blog, I use G Suite anyways, and that was really easy. I just added those MX records that I had in my previous host, and then I didn't have to do anything, it just worked. But if you want email, uh, if you were using like cPanel email or whatever, well, you'd have to pay $1 a month. Big deal, who cares? Uh, some people really like cPanel, I don't. Uh, it's not really cPanel-ish. You can see right here, here's all the stuff. Application settings here. If you wanna access your site files, you probably have to do FTP, SFTP, um, which for me is what I prefer anyways. I, I use apps like FileZilla and I actually use QSpace now to connect to my servers via FTP so I can like move files around. That's the way I prefer to do it. But if you like the file managers in cPanel or you have to have that, well, you don't really have that in Cloudways, to my knowledge. Um, it does require a few more steps if you wanna set it up yourself, which I would actually personally not recommend. I'd just use their migration service. Uh, but honestly, again, it's not that hard. I'm not that techie person when it comes to like backend server websites that I don't know what I'm doing. And I followed their like documentation and one YouTube video, I think. And it was, I was like, I got it, right? And by, I'm, again, go check out the next video here. I will just walk you through every single step of the process. It's really not that hard. There are a few steps, but it's really not hard. It's simple. You can do it in an, an hour or two and not an hour or two of work. It's only like 20 minutes of work, but sometimes you have to like wait for DNS records to update and stuff like that. It takes a couple of hours start to finish, which is mostly dead time and it's not bad. Uh, and then the last con I have here is technically they do have backups, absolutely but it costs like a tiny bit of money. It's not a lot, by the way, um, on-demand backups. I can't remember how much it is. Cloudways backup cost. It is 0.033 cents per gig, which is like nothing, uh, really. If you have a small-ish website, if you have a big website, well, maybe that might be a little bit more. It's, it's not a lot of money. Um, <laughs> Or you could just use like Updraft Plus, which is what I've historically used anyways, and I like better because again I have more control over it, and I can just do it to like Dropbox or Google Drive. But whatever, backups technically cost money. It's very very cheap. Or you can just use a free plugin like Updraft Plus. That's all I got. Uh, lastly, I want to sum this up. I don't think Cloudways is a great fit for brand new bloggers. I think honestly, I'm gonna have to catch slack for this. I think Bluehost just takes it. They have the easiest one press. Uh, install to get a website, a WordPress site up and running, and it's super cheap. And I don't think anybody should pay more than two, three bucks a month for web hosting if they're a brand new blogger, like literally just for your first year or two, maybe. Like once you get up to 10K, 20K, 30K sessions a month, or even like a little bit less than that, you're probably gonna wanna upgrade from Bluehost. But I honestly think people should start there. If you are perfectly happy with wherever you're at right now, SiteGround being a big one that people love, big scoots, 
well then don't move. I don't want to like present shiny objects to you. If you're happy with what you're paying, and if your website's super fast and the backend WordPress experience is super fast, well then you don't need to switch. Uh, but on the other hand, if you're like me, if you're looking for fair pricing that won't change a year from now, that is absolutely reasonable for what you get, super fast cloud managed cloud hosting, which I love, and it's the top tier uh, of what most creators and bloggers could ever get, really. Uh, if your WP dashboard is a tad slow, oh my gosh, you'll be blown away <laughs> by Cloudways. Uh, if you hate cPanel and otherwise like want more flexibility, want more control, and you don't mind watching a YouTube video or two, that's the thing. Like You're not gonna be able to just come in here without knowing anything about anything and do this whole thing in one click. Like you're gonna have to change a few settings and do some things here. If as long as you don't mind watching a YouTube video, it takes an hour or two, it's totally worth it. For me at least. Um, and also adding like DNS records, which again, I'm not a pro at at all. I've done it a few times, but I like I can't tell you what these things mean or, or even what they do. Like I just follow documentation by Googling stuff. If you don't mind doing that, then this is absolutely worth it. Okay. In the next video, I actually want to talk about the process of migrating. So I want you, if you're going to do this, go check out this video. It's actually going to be really short and I will give you access to all this, uh, this document right here. Other than that, I hope you will use my affiliate link if you want to try Cloudways app. I'll leave a link in the description, but it's like dyeb.link slash Cloudways. dyeb.link slash Cloudways. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I am absolutely thrilled with Cloudways so far. I really am for both my niche site and for Do You Even blog. And uh, good luck, man. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments of this YouTube video. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.